In this video I would like to talk about the Hawthorne experiments or Hawthorne studies which took place at Western Electrics and I did a small mistake over here so Western Ele Electrics and I found a picture over here I'm sorry for the quality but these experiments took place uh, some hundred years ago so the quality of the visuals was not so good then but you really can imagine a factory where where people are really having boring and repetitive jobs of of assembling some some electrical parts or or phones so it was not really a nice place to work at but to be really honest the western Ele electrics that time was an interesting company they have tried to innovate for instance they were offering some pension plans uh, uh, workers had the right to go for vacation when they wanted and so on and so on so western electrics was innovating already and then um, let's say academics decided to do some experiments over there which we call the Hawthorne experiments and what's so interesting about them because it all started a totally new field or a totally new approach uh, to management and generally to, to organization theory. So we are going to see a list of four different experiments that took place here and the results are really interesting, trust me. So the first experiment was called the illumination experiment. So the illumination, illumination experiment, experiment. So in this experiment, really the researchers just, just came and they uh, tried uh, how the change in the illumination is going to change the output or the productivity of workers. So they took two groups. So let's say you have uh, one group of workers and let me just create more of these guys. So you are going to have one group and then you are going to have a second group right over here and you are going to try a different kind of illumination for these two groups. So let's say for the first group you are going to put illumination which is going to be which is going to be let's say kind of normal so the regular one but for the second group you are going to pick illumination that is really stronger so that um, you can see better at, at the assembly room so these guys have a stronger illumination now the, the expectation was that this group is going to perform better because they have better illumination now what has happened both groups have increased in their efficiency so increased efficiency and increased efficiency over here as well and this was really uh, really puzzling well even though the illumination here has not really changed that they had the same illumination as before and their their productivity has increased in these guys well it's understandable the illumination has increased and their productivity increased as well so this part was understandable but what happened here they didn't know so they tried a different experiment and they have created again a third group of workers and now they are going to try lower level of illumination so for this third group for this third group you will create just a very very small illumination just enough so that they can uh, see uh, uh, what they are working with and do you know what happened the productivity increased again increased again so whatever they did with the lights whether they remained the same or they increased the illumination or the illumination stayed the same the productivity has increased and this was a really big problem if you are not familiar with academic research well this is a big problem for academics now the the researchers were called back to the university because the experiment just didn't work out well but they remained and they they really tried um, to, to discover what was going on and why all of these things happened. So they tried to perform one more experiment that they asked the uh, National Education Academy um, that they can try at least one more. So let's see what was the second one. So the second experiment was called the Relay Assembly Room. The Relay Assembly Room. Assembly Room. So in this experiment, they took six women so one two three four and five and six 
and they separated these six women from the from the everyday production so they really took them out of the factory and closed them in a separate room so they had their separate room and if i remember it correctly uh, this experiment uh, after all took more than five years and during those five years they were really consulting these six women about uh, let's say you would ask them questions how do you imagine your working hours when would you like to work when would you like to have breaks and what was happening was that as they were consulting them and and, and trying some um, different kind of approaches to, to management and supervision, the productivity was constantly rising over the period of these five years. And I think the overall rise was more than 30% of the productivity and that's really overwhelming. So they have started to see in this experiment that something is going on. So they have tried a third experiment, which was the interview experiment or interviewing experiment. So interviewing, interviewing experiment. Now, what was going on here? Well, you had a one big experiment that was going on a few years ago, another big experiment that was going on recently. So now, now they have tried to interview all of the employees. So interview employees about what do they think about their management? What do they think about their supervision? And they have tried at first uh, sort of a sort of a very strict and given questionnaire so really the employee came to the interview and was asked a, a, a set of given and strict questions those questions were like uh, who do you think is the best manager around you or um, do you think that your manager is being too harsh on you and what has happened that as they were interviewing hundreds and hundreds of these employees, they have started to be bored and they disliked the interview because they wanted to talk about different things as well, not only about their supervision. So then uh, they have tried a different kind of interviews and those were sort of non-standardized. Non-standardized. And now all of a sudden employees started to be happy because they could have talked about anything. Imagine you are an employee and you come to sit down with your manager and you are free to talk basically about anything. And after this non-standardized interview, they have found out a lot of information that were valuable for them. So then they tried even the fourth experiment, which was something that we call the bank wiring, uh, bank uh, wiring observation room bank wiring observation room uh, room so i think in this case they took uh, 13 men and they they again separated them from from everyday life so imagine this as being 13 men and they have told them something interesting if you are let's say you have a limit every day you should produce every day you should produce let's say 100 chairs 100 or or okay we are talking about western electrics so you should every day produce 100 meters of uh, of wire of wire for every meter that you are going to produce over 100 so for every one meter you are going to get let's say uh, one dollar one dollar benefit now what would you expect well normally a people would expect that now they are going to work harder to produce more and more so that they can uh, get some extra money but what has happened is that this group has really closed itself and was producing even less than normally so they were producing let's say 80 meters of cable or let's say 70 meters and the researchers were now uh, uh, really let's say depressed of what has happened because their normal output should be 100 meters and now they were producing even less despite the fact that they were offered a benefit if they produce more well something that we call norms within groups has occurred so this group of workers have developed some sort of internal norms and 
and they put pressures on any kind of individual. So if this individual would like to produce more, the group is going to, uh, let's say, develop some sort of a pressures upon this individual so that he or she will not produce more. And But this is a, this is a different story and we are going to talk about it later on during the organizational behavior course. The very important ones are these three uh, first experiments that took place. So the illumination experiment, the relay assembly room and interviewing experiment. Because what it, what these three experiments have revealed is that humans or people within the factories as employees, they really matter. It's not just about supervision and productivity. What matters are the relationships within, uh, between people or their attitudes, emotions, feelings. So some sort of human relations approach, uh, human relations approach has developed thanks to the Hawthorne studies. And it's really interesting, so try to Google about it, maybe.